Hey everyone, welcome back to BSG TV, the official YouTube page of the Bootstrapper's Guide. I'm Tori Norman, and I'm back again. I'm not dead. I was doing tax returns, though, for the last couple of months, so it's almost the same thing. But they're done now, tax season's over, and I get to come back to what I really love, which is teaching people how to use software. I appreciate everyone's patience. I know I've seen a lot of really great feedback and comments. I know a lot of you are excited to see our continuing episodes. I left you with a bit of a cliffhanger on how to set up your bank accounts and get electronic bank statements set up. So we want to keep moving with this. We want to keep this momentum going. But I appreciate everyone's patience and everyone's support uh, on our YouTube page and also our blog, bootstrappersguide.net. Um, so anyway, we're back in action. Before I get going with our continuing series, though, a lot of you who are watching my videos may have noticed that during tax season, I wasn't the only one working. Wave Accounting has been working really hard to revamp their website, and a lot of things have changed. And so if you're watching some of my older videos, you might have a harder time finding some of the things you're looking for. So I wanted to show you around some of the new changes really quickly, get you familiar with the new look and feel of the the wave accounting interface. So you'll notice that there's no longer the tabs at the top that you see in my older videos. They've moved all of the menus off here to the left hand side which not only provides a really clean easy to see and follow look but also gives them opportunity to expand down on the bottom as they keep adding more and more new features. You'll notice right away that there's two brand new features added to this since our last videos and that's the receipts section and the payroll section. So we'll be adding some additional videos on in a little bit to add those new features in and get you familiar with those because I've been playing with them. I'm really excited about them, especially the receipts options, and I want to let you know how those work because I think they'll really make a difference in your business. Uh, also, one thing you'll notice is when we talked about how to do transactions in our last two videos, uh, we talked about the quick entry transactions and you'll notice that if you go to your invoices page or you go to your bills page that option of quick entry isn't there anymore what they've done is they've actually created their own transactions page now where you can add your income transactions and your expense transactions right into this page it also is an shows your automatic feeds coming in from your bank statements which we'll show you as well so wanted to get you familiar with that, wanted to give you a chance to see kind of where those are at because as I mentioned in my earlier videos those quick entry transactions are a really big help especially on the expense side. Now we'll find out in our upcoming video that most of those transactions that you're buying with debit cards, credit cards, things like that are going to be automatically fed in anyway so you probably aren't going to be doing a lot of manual entry for those. And that's really what we want, speed up and make it more efficient for you. But all the same, wanted to let you know where you can find your transactions because they're not where they used to be. Another thing that's not where it used to be is your setup and your settings. They still have the settings tips here, but if you finish your full settings and all these setting tips disappear, you need to know where to go and find those. The cool thing is they've actually made them easier to find. You've got this little gear symbol up here, and this gear symbol is at the top of every single screen you go to. So I can go to the invoices screen. I can even open up and create a new invoice. Everywhere I go, this little gear stays put. And if you click on that gear, that's where you can find your products, your customers, your sales tax, all of these options that we've been playing with all along. They're right there, easy to find. So I really like that. I think that's a big... A big help. Um, other than that, I think pretty much everything's the same. Your accounting tabs still got all of your chart of accounts, your journal entries, uh, your reports are, are off to the left. Pretty much everything you need you can find right here in this quick bar. So I, I like the new look and feel. You're not hunting for things nearly as much as you were before. Um, so definitely five stars on the new setup, but I wanted to get you familiar with that because as you go back and look at my older videos, you might have a hard time following along and I wanted to make sure that you were with me. So that's just a quick five minute update on what's been happening with Wave. Like I said, a lot of new things happening with them that's got me really excited and we'll be adding some more videos on 
here in the near future, and this time I promise it will be the near future, now that I've got the summer coming up and there's lots of time. So appreciate everyone watching, appreciate all your support. I know a few of you have actually reached out to me, given me a call, sent me an email. I'm more than happy to help you set up your way of accounting. Happy to help answer any questions you've got. You can email me, you can send me a quick call, um, but definitely want, definitely want to help. So look me up in the Wave Pro network. It's Tori Norman. I uh, work with Squire and Company. You can find us in Orem, Utah. Um, shoot me an email, give me a call, love to help. Otherwise, stay tuned and right after this we'll be posting finally our sixth episode that will show you how you can start entering your bank transactions into Wave Accounting. Stay tuned.